Hey guys, Ryan from Spiker Workshop, and I've been working on this one-tenth scale pontoon boat. It's about 24 inches long, and there'll be many different versions. This is the scale 20 foot one. There'll also be a 16 foot and a 24 foot one. And then also this is a tri-tune, and I'll also be making pontoons of each so it'll be quite a modular uh, boat kit. And then a look at the furniture in here. Currently don't have lights installed yet on this, but the dashboard does light up. And the navigation lights have uh, a spot for LEDs. And there's also a bimini light and a fence light if you don't use the bimini top cover. And this can fold up too, just like the real ones. And then the furniture is actually designed to house the electronics. So like back here, I have the battery. So they're held on by magnets and a bunch of different clips and tabs. And the seat just perfectly fits a 5200 3S or 2S uh, hard pack fits right in there, kind of where the uh, the curve is, and then there's still enough space to hide the wires down in there. And then to put it back together, you just uh, clip the seats back in here. And then on this side. There's the uh, speed controller and the receivers under here. And it's nice because you can wire all the electronics through the pontoons and see some of the wires there. There's like a nice channel to run uh, the wires right there. And then a working swim ladder too on the back here. Just some little pins. Also working doors with pins. And the fence is modular. You can leave this panel out and have it open or closed. And uh, every color you're seeing on the boat is spray painted separately. So each color piece is painted, spray painted, and then assembled after painting. So it makes it really easy to put it together and get nice uh, paint lines on everything. And then the, uh, the pontoons themselves, they have bulkheads inside so if you ever get into a crash or something with another boat um, it should uh, stay buoyant enough to get back to shore and then uh, the outboard motor is uh, powered by like a 550 size motor or these brushless motors I think it's a 35 36 uh, outrunner and there's many options for these too there's different covers there's this racing cover and then there's like a uh, more regular cover and then the steering servo for this is built into the head so you can see the, the servo there so it just needs a linkage to connect to the boat and then two screws so this outboard you can put on virtually any flat uh, back boat that has a transom and all you need is the electronics inside and I don't have it installed on this one, but there's also a another servo you can put back here that will trim the motor up and down. However, the brushless motor has so much torque that it actually overpowers the trim servo. So that's really only recommended on like going slower with maybe like a brush motor or something like that. But you can also uh, just connect it rigidly. So in here there's just a a uh, rod end on both sides connected to the case so you can still adjust the trim manually on this one if you unscrew that you can tilt the motor up and then spin that coupler in and out and also the lower end is very easy to do maintenance on so there's four screws that drop down the skeg here and then the shaft comes out with it so it's very easy if you ever run into something that uh, damages the, is the gear. 
And then also there's a ton of different propellers that will come with the motor. There's a plate of like 20 propellers of different pitches and blade counts and stuff. And then the gears, there'll be a choice while you're checking out where you can do plastic gears or metal. The plastic ones are a lot quieter, but I have not tested them yet with this high-powered motor. But the brass gears seem to be holding up just fine. I would definitely get one like the beer. That one's cool. Yeah. Twin engines got to try more. That'd be the pod gen I would want for real. Yeah. So if I could get a model of it, because I can yeah. spend a little less money on it. That's the whole point. Oh, yeah. You see the pictures I put out there on me uh, on our website? Yeah, from the last event? Yeah. 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 I think I like the orange one the best.
I would. I don't know how to drive them. Jeez, <laughs> wasn't ready for that, Ryan. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 